so we are studying helical bivalve worm and worm wheel in the last previous lectures we have seen introduction to helical gears helical gear terminology and the concept of <coughs> virtual number of ticks and force analysis for helical gears we will go we will revise the equations uh, you have already prepared the list of formulae as a part of last assignment so just revise it so transverse module which is measured in transverse plane is given by pi times the uh, sorry transverse circular pitch pt is equal to pi times the transverse module <coughs> circular pitch is always pi times the module so transverse circular pitch is pi times the transverse module where transverse module is the ratio of pitch circle diameter to the number of teeth of respective gear and in case of helical gears transverse module of two mating gears is to be same because we use same helix angle now the pitch measured in normal plane is normal pitch pn which is equals to pi times the normal module mn is the normal module and the relationship between normal pitch and transverse pitch is defined by this equation normal pitch is equals to cos of alpha times the transverse pitch so those who have not prepared the list of equations can uh, prepare now okay jani banavle nahi te atta liu shakta list of equations so normal pitch is equals to cos of alpha times the transverse circular pitch mhanje transverse pitch yacha varna kadaycha ratio of d by t transverse module kadaycha and from this you will determine the transverse pitch okay and once you get the transverse pitch you can use this equation pn equals to cos of alpha times pt to find out the normal circular pitch the same relation is valid for <coughs> normal module uh, module and transverse module the so normal module is equals to cos of alpha times the transverse module what is this pa is the axial pitch we measure pt in transverse plane pn in normal plane and pa is measured along the axis of the gear so it is called as axial pitch which is equals to pt transverse circular pitch divided by tan of helix angle alpha now again we have relation between normal pressure angle phi n and transverse pressure angle phi t okay tan of phi n is equals to cos of alpha times tan of phi t <coughs> center distance is the sum of radius pitch circle radius of two mating gears cd is equals to pitch circle radius of pinion plus pitch circle radius of the gear we can also write it like this d plus d divided by 2 and we have derived one more equation for center distance cd the center distance is equal to mn upon tau is cos of alpha into t plus t with small t as the number of t on driving gear and capital t as the number of t on driven gear mn is the normal module and alpha is the helix angle gear ratio <coughs> is the ratio of number of teeth on driven gear divided by number of teeth on driving gear he kas lakshat thevaycha mi sangitlela hai gear ratio is always greater than 1 so numerator madhe moti value ayla pahije so driven gear is always greater than the driving gear so we can also write g as equals to pitch circle diameter of driven gear upon the pitch circle diameter of driving gear okay. so 
g is also equals to speed of driving gear divided by speed of driven gear because speed of pinion is always greater than the speed of gear wheel because pinion is smaller than wheel now important thing you will remember that two mating helical gears should always have same helix angle and opposite hand of helices then we have seen the relation uh, relationship between a tangential force and radial axial and normal forces so these are the equations to determine the radial force axial force and the normal force okay. this already we have seen the relation between transverse pressure angle and normal pressure angle now one more thing while studying the concept of equivalence per gear which is the imaginary spur gear in normal plane and uh, radius of pitch circle of that spur gear is equals to radius of pitch circle of actual helical gear divided by cos square alpha where alpha is the helix angle similarly if, uh, you can determine the number of teeth on this imaginary spur gear in the normal plane by using this equation te we call it as formative number of teeth is equals to number of teeth on actual helical gear divided by cos cube alpha where alpha is the helix angle so let us go we will solve numericals on helical gears you can write down this or just you can solve with me two helical gears having gear ratio of 4 and a normal module of 8 mm width normal pressure angle is 20 degrees and helix angle is 28 degrees if center distance is 650 mm approximately we have to determine the number of teeth on each gear and exact center distance So you may write down the problem statement. Two helical gears having gear ratio of 4 and normal module of 8 mm width. Normal pressure angle of 20 degrees and helix angle of 28 degrees. If center distance is approximately 650 mm, determine the number of teeth on each gear and exact center distance. Okay, now we will extract the data from problem statement. G is equals to 4. G is the gear ratio, which is given as 4. Normal module of 8 millimeters. So, MN is equals to 8 millimeters. normal pressure angle of 20 degrees normal pressure angle phi n correct pressure angle measured in normal plane is indicated by phi n so phi n is equals to 20 degrees and helix angle kiti 28 degrees helix angle means alpha okay so alpha equals to 28 Next, the problem condition. Pratek problem read kartani is have to identify or search for the constraint given in the problem. Okay. Or the condition based on which you have to solve this. Pratek problem with the delay last one. Otherwise, all numericals are same. Kailahe center distance is approximately. You'll underline Kuruntava. Approximately 650 millimeters. So I have written a CD center distance is equals to 650 in bracket mother approximately this is approximate center distance can I exact as my thing they have find out okay 
we have to determine number of teeth on pinion so small t is in question we have to determine number of teeth on gear wheel so capital T is also in question and after that we will find out the exact center distance okay exact center distance now what stop writing uh, and look at the screen how to proceed with the solution okay could you like say nice just look at the screen okay find out karaycha hai number of teeth number of teeth the very basic equation we have for a number of teeth is for transverse module mt okay correct mt is equal to d by t is equal to d by t yacha madhe number of teeth ahet pan transverse module is not known and pitch circle diameters are also not given mag ata kay karaycha we can find out mt bolwa we can find out mt or we let us rearrange this equation r equals to mt t by 2 okay and capital r equals to mt capital t by 2 mga dayachat aplyala kay pahije to get the value of r we must know the value of transverse module transverse module is not given but normal module is specified as 8 mm and we can relate normal module and transverse module using helix angle alpha correct what is that relation mn is equals to mt cos of alpha mn is given alpha is known so let us find out mt kuni kai karaycha nahi so i will rewrite this equation for mt so transverse module mt is equals to mn upon cos of alpha so i have substituted the values okay mt is equals to 8 upon cos of 28 now someone solve this calc your fakta solve kar and tell me the value of mt मग आता ऑल ऑफ यू विल राइट डाउन दिस पहले काय लायचं राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन ऑफ एम एन इज इक्वल्स टू एम टी कॉस ऑफ अल्फा हे इक्वेशन लिहा देन फाइंड आउट एम टी एंड राइट इट एज 9.06 मिलीमीटर रेड कलर मध्ये जे दिसते तेवढंच लायचं ओके खालच लिहा एम एन इक्वल्स टू एम टी इनटू कॉस ऑफ अल्फा So M T is equals to M N upon cos of alpha. M N is eight and alpha is twenty eight. So after solving this, we get M T is equals to nine point zero six millimeters. Done. Now what should be the next step? Now we will use this M T in these equations. Okay. so i will reproduce this equation so r equals to 9.06 into t and capital r equals to 9.06 into t ha magata mt kadlya nantar write down this equation r equals to mt by 2 small r and capital r equals to mt into capital t by 2 आणि मग त्याच्यामध्ये एम टीची व्हॅल्यू टाका नाईन पॉईंट झिरो सिक्स नाईन पॉईंट झिरो सिक्स नाव टेल मी दी व्हॅल्यू ऑफ स्मॉल आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्मॉल टी किती आला आर ओके आणि कॅपिटल आर पण तेवढाच येईल करेक्ट फोर पॉईंट फायव्ह थ्री इंटू कॅपिटल टी call these equations as equation number 1 and equation number 
तो अपन का एम एन आल्फा यूज कर वी हैव डिटर्माइन एम टी आणि एम टी यूज करून वी हॅव डिफाइन पिच सर्कल रेडियस स्मॉल आर अँड कॅपिटल आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ नंबर ऑफ टिप्स ओके आता आपल्याकडे दोन इक्वेशन आहेत पिच सर्कल रेडियस बोथ गिअर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ नंबर ऑफ टिप्स आता कोण सांगू शकतं का हाऊ टू प्रोसीड गिवन डेटा बघा कॅन वी रिलेट द गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन एनी वन ऑफ द गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन विथ स्मॉल आर अँड कॅपिटल आर कोणी तरी सांगा येस व्हेरी गुड सेंटर डिस्टन्स इज इक्वल्स टू स्मॉल आर प्लस कॅपिटल आर सो रायट डाऊन दिस इक्वेशन सी डी इज इक्वल्स टू आर प्लस आर सी डी इज Let us substitute the values of R. Here, yeah, we put 4.53 into T is the small R and 4.53 into capital T is the capital R. At the center distance, the little I have 650. Approximately, it is 650. That's the value substitute. Kara. So, we get 650 is equals to 4.53 T plus 4.53 T. आता नेक्स्ट काय करू शकतो अगेन वी हॅव वन इक्वेशन टू अननोन्स वट कॅन वी डू रीड द गिवन डेटा एम एन एम एन नाही नाही काय सांगितलं सिक्स फिफ्टी इज इक्वल टू सेंटर डिस्टन्सचा फॉर्म्युला हा एम एनचा एम एन ओपन टॉइस कॉस ऑफ अल्फा टी प्लस टी नाही आणखी आणखी त्याच्यापेक्षा सिम्प्लीफाय करा थोडं दिस गिअर रेशो इज गिवन एज फोर बरोबर वी कॅन रिलेट दिस नंबर ऑफ टिप्स युझिंग गिअर रेशो जी इज इक्वल टू कॅपिटल टी अपॉन स्मॉल टी जी किती दिलेला आहे फोर सो वी गेट दिस रिलेशन कॅपिटल टी इज इक्वल टू फोर टाइम्स स्मॉल टी मग याला इकडे सबस्टिट्यूट करायचं कॅपिटल टी इज इक्वल टू फोर टाइम्स स्मॉल टी नाव सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन अँड टेल मी द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ स्मॉल टी आता एकच अननोन राहिला बरोबर गिअर रेशो इज पण ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नंबर ऑफ टीथ फ्रॅक्शन मध्ये नसणार मग त्याला राऊंड ऑफ करायचं से ट्वेंटी नाईन नंबर ऑफ टीथ होल नंबर असणार ना एखादा टीथ आपण कट नाही करू शकत साडे अठ्ठावीस टीथ आहेत सो यू हॅव टू राऊंड ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ टीथ द नियरेस्ट होल नंबर सो टी इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी नाईन मग कॅपिटल टी किती येईल Use this equation. It's four times small t. Kiti hala capital T. One one six. One one six. Very good. So we have number of t. One one six. Ah, correct. We have number of t on pinion equals to twenty nine. And number of teeth on gear wheel equals to 116. And you separate loom to a kali. Small t is 29. Capital T is 116. So we have done with the first part. We have determined the number of teeth on pinion and gear wheel. At the kai kare ta plele center distance find out kare ta. Exact center distance. Do ni pae kye. We can use any one of the equations. Okay. I am using this R plus R. So, you can MN upon twice cos of alpha into T plus T plus use, use karu shakta. It doesn't matter. You will get the same result. So, R equals to 4.53 T. So, from these values of T, get the values of pitch circle radius. The 
give the values of pitch circle radius. Sagar Sagar Chappi Kutukela Sagar Sagar Marathi Okay Yaan se talna ar nai karta Please note down Hello hello Haan, kutu ke lo da Hello sir Haan, bol Hello Sir, now you आंसर की तरह सांस स्मॉल आर कैपिटल आर लो बोलना 4.5 हेलो 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 हाँ बोल आवाज़ है तो ही आवाज़ है हेलो हाँ रे आवाज़ है तो ही बोलना आवाज़ है तो ही मान ओ बोल ठीक है ठीक है माइक ऑफ कर दूसरा लेवल चल रहा है तो क्या तेरी प्रॉब्लम है आलेख का आर इक्वल्स टू वन थर्टी वन अनिकेत Okay, Sahil Kamboy got the answer as 656.85. Correct. Rahul Kuroye got the answer 656.85. And who will go? Pavan Bhagat. I think it's all solved. I think so. Yes, it's all solved. 656. 656 is the correct answer, not 658. 656.85. Yes, yes. This is the exact center distance. Very good. So now, write down this numerical. Numerical number two. Two helical gears. Transmits 30 kilowatt with velocity ratio of 4. Okay. I'll read the problem statement then we'll proceed with the solution. Two helical gears transmits 30 kilowatt with velocity ratio of 4. Normal pressure angle and helix angle both are given as 30 degrees. Okay. Normal module is specified as 12 millimeters. Addendum is 1 times the module. Pinion has 20 teeth. And the speed of pinion is 400 rpm. We have to find out the center distance. And determine the forces acting on teeth with the help of neat sketch. Okay. This question was asked for 8 marks. Okay. So let us extract the information from the problem statement power is 30 kilowatts okay so p is 30 kilowatts we indicate power by p velocity ratio is 4 so i have taken vr is equals to 4 then normal pressure angle and helix angle are 30 degrees and normal module is 12 millimeters so mn is 12 normal module is 12 millimeters helix angle alpha and normal pressure angle phi n are 30 degrees 
Next, addendum is one times the module. So we know that addendum of two mating gears should be same. So I have written here AP is the addendum of pinion, which is equals to AW is the addendum of wheel. And it is given as one times the module. Okay. Number of teeth on pinion are 20. Speed of pinion is 400 rpm. We have to find out the center distance and then the component of all forces acting on the helical gear teeth. So center distance is given by this equation. Let me check Prakash, Prakash Paul. Prakash Paul. Mukun, Mukun Patle. Lila Gare. Yes, sir. As a reply, this is the put put Maja Malik the Kurtan and Kaisal Lizen. So, Lila got data get like a Sagra. Atakai Gare is now what we should do now? Tell me. Sir, आपने PC value from IPI यानी MN पर मुझे दे दे रहा है। हाँ, अलग। Sir, आपने CT point पर ऐसे। Small T दिले लाए, capital T नहीं दिला। बोलोगे? मगर तब capital T कैसा करता है इन्हें? Small T is twenty. G Dilela Ahe. You read carefully. Velocity ratio is given as 4. Correct? Velocity ratio Munjakai. Speed of driving gear, the pinion divided by speed of driven gear. And Hikiti Dilela is 4. And this is also. This is also equals to G. G is also equals to T by T. Correct. So number of teeth on gear wheels. Kite in our sang? 20. 20. 80. 80. Cut among center distance. Mic off karan. Now find out the center distance. All of you find out the center distance and tell me the value of CD. So we will delay MN is 12. Alpha is 30. Small t is 20. Capital T is 4 into 20, 80. Okay. So center distance is 692.8 millimeters. Correct. Very good. Six ninety two point eight two is the correct answer. Wrong card sarap answer is six seventy three nine six ninety two. Now next part, we have to evaluate the forces. So please write down these three equations. We want to determine FR, FA and FN. equations, one term is common which is that FT. 
tangential component of force. So to find out FR, FA and FN, first of all we must determine the value of FT. Will somebody please tell me how to find out FT, tangential component kutna kadecha. How to determine FT? Where is torque? The power ke liye sir power is torque. Very good, very good. So let us find out the value of torque. What about torque equals to Ft into R. Power is given 30 kilowatts. Power is the equation there. P equals to 2 pi nt upon 60. So Doni gear sarkas power transmit karna rahe. So I have rewritten uh, re re this equation as 2 pi np speed of pinion into t torque transmitted divided by 60. So kilowatt madhe power dile lahe convert it into watts 30 into 10 raised to 3 watts 2 pi 400 rpm is the speed of pinion into t is the torque transmitted divided by 60. What is torque? 716.19. Very good. Siddhesh Jadav has got the answer. 716.2 Newton meter. At a torque value, it will take it. Find out the value of Ft. Small r is the thick circle radius of pinion. Torque value upon the substitute kili. Ft find out karaja, but R is also not known. So tell me how to find out the value of pitch circle radius of pinion. So take a kunala. Value of small r. Value of small r. Akshay Dige. Yes, sir. Small r kasa karta in sangvara. Upon karla and maxi numerical mode. R is equation kai di lot. R is equals to. R is equals to. Mt. Mt. Small r kadi. Mt input yapan. Uh, mt into small t divided by 2. Ata echa made small t is known 20 ahe. Burubar? Ata mt na mt kasa kade cha? Tiki, tiki, to the mic of kurdu sir kurdu. D by t. D by t na na mag. D kuta apple kade. D na na. R na maji d pan na na. Yes, yes, very good, very good. Find out the R. R equals to mt into t by 2. When transverse module can be find out, determined using the value of normal module, which is 12 millimeters. So use this relation. mn is equals to mt into cos of alpha. Find out the value of mt. Then find out the value of R. And then go for ft. Sangamang, what is mt is equals to mn upon cos of 30. 13.85, correct. Touch over na r kadai chata. Yep. R is 138.56. Correct, r is 138. Hmm? Ata kai kare cha? Ft find out kara. Ft equals to? 5.168. 5.168 or 7 kilo newton.
फाइव पॉइंट वन सिक्स किलो न्यूटन आल का सग खूब सोप है वेरी सीम्पल फाइंड आउट एम टी एम टी नर फाइंड आउट कराए आर नर एफ टी फाइंड आउट कराए एक्जाम मे खालून वॉब्लम सॉल्व कराए बर का वरुण खाली मी उलटा करते आई एम सॉरी आई आई एम गोइंग रिवर्स अपन पहले इक्वेशन घतो आर वी गो ऑन फाइंडिंग दी वैल्यूज ऑफ अन्नोन्स इट बिकम्स इजीयर टू सॉल्व दी प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक दिस चले क्या सगैंस एफ टी आला सो नाउ नेक्स्ट वन फाइंड आउट एफ आर आता सग सोप है वी नो फाय एंड वी नो अल्फा वी नो एफ टी टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन एफ आर इक्वल्स टू फाइव पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेवन इन ब्रैकेट टाइन ऑफ थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस ऑफ थर्टी सॉल्व दिस वी हैव ऑल द वैल्यूज नाउ थ्री पॉइंट फोर्टी फोर करेक्ट युनिट पर लाइच किलो न्यूटन आता एफ ए वील गो फॉर एफ ए एफ एज इक्वल्स टू एफ टी इन टू टेन ऑफ अल्फा एफ ए इज इक्वल्स टू एफ टी इन टू टेन ऑफ अल्फा सब्सिट्यूट दी वैल्यू एफ टी इज फाइव पॉइंट वन सिक्स अरे वाह टू पॉइंट नाइन एट किलो न्यूटन वेरी गुड लास्ट वन एफ एन सिक्स पॉइंट एट नाइन करेक्ट किलो न्यूटन हा प्रॉब्लेम सॉल्व है दिस न्यूमरिकल कैन बी आज फॉर एकदा यून गए एट टू टेन मार्क्स अलॉन्ग विथ दिस एक गोष्ट है वी यू हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस फोर्सेस इन नीट स्केच अपन जी फोर्स एनालिस डायग्राम काटली होती ना ती जी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व के खाली काड़ा है आता ना का इन एक्जाम ओके वी हैव डन दैट एस्टी डे Now last one, numerical number three. Write down this quickly. मुझे तुमसे नंतर त्रास वाचन ले जा. A pair of parallel helical gears consists of twenty teeth pinion meshing with a forty teeth gear. Helix angle is twenty five degrees. Helix angle is twenty five degrees. Normal pressure angle is twenty degrees. Normal module is three millimeters. Calculate transverse module. ट्रांसफर्स प्रेशर एंगल एक्शियल पिच एंड पिच सर्कल डायमीटर्स ऑफ पीनियन एंड गियर दिस न्यूमरिकल इज वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एवरीथिंग इज गिवन वी हैव टू जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज इन द इक्वेशंस एंड फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज सो लेट अस एक्सट्रैक्ट द डेटा नंबर ऑफ टिच्स ऑन पीनियन एंड गियर व्हील स्मॉल टी इज 20 कैपिटल टी इज 40 Number of teeth on pinion twenty. Number of teeth on gear wheel are forty. Normal module is three mm. So mn is three. And normal pressure angle is twenty degrees. So phi n is twenty. Helix angle alpha is twenty five. Helix angle alpha is twenty five degrees. we have to determine the transverse module mt transverse pressure angle phi t 
axial pitch PA and pitch circle diameter is of pinion and gear wheel. Pinion and gear wheel. Transverse module. Transverse module is equals to normal module upon cos of alpha because Mn is given and cos of alpha is given. Upon as upon Kadushokto, Mt is equals to D by T, correct? As a Kadushokto, Mt equals to D by T, but it's a problem. We don't know the value of D. Pit circle diameter delay line. We don't know this. Whatever na empty upon I K V C ne we can of course determine, but we don't know the value of D, so we will not use this. We will make use of this relation M N equals to M T cos of alpha, because M N is given as three millimeters and alpha is given as twenty five degrees. So M T equals to three upon cos of twenty five. Kitty yellow MT 3.31 correct. So MT is 3.31 millimeters. Very good. Ata dusra kaya hai transverse pressure angle. Kasa gadnar? Phi N is given, alpha is known. So we have very straightforward relationship. Tan of phi N is equals to cos of alpha times tan of phi t so tan of phi t equals to tan of phi n upon cos of alpha after substituting the values we get phi t as kt 21.88 correct 21.88 very good correct 21.88 is phi t Number three, can I find out is axial pitch, which is equals to Pt upon tan of alpha, transverse pitch upon tan of alpha. Ata ita gadu bada hai, what we don't know Pt, transverse pitch. No transverse pitch kasa gada chai sangha, tumhi gari. How to find out this Pt? Pi mt. Yes, 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 yes. Pi mt, mt aap lela maite hai 3.31. So Pt is 10.39. I like it, 10.39. I like it, 10.39. Yes, sir. Uh, now find out PA. What is PA? 10.39. Uh, 22.3 millimeters, correct. The axial pitch. Ata kai kade chahe? Small d capital D. Pitch circle diameters of pinion gear. So we have mt is equals to d by t. So we can rewrite this. Kai gare chahe? Direct diameter ka find out kare chahe? So d equals to mt into t. We have mt as 3.31. Small t delay la hai, capital T delay la hai. Kitty ala small d? 66.2. Yes, and capital D is 